Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We'll have those stories coming up. But first, an autopsy underway and a second victim is found all in relation to a manhunt investigation being conducted by Pennsylvania State Police. This is new today at noon. An autopsy underway and that second victim is found in this investigation. Chelsea Withers joins us down live in the newsroom with the uh, breakdown of what we've learned so far. Hello, Chelsea. Good afternoon, Dave. Right now, state police have released the names of both of those victims. And this investigation all began due to a traffic investigation that led to a 22-hour manhunt that crossed multiple county lines. 25-year-old Cody Potoff is accused of murdering 66-year-old John Burke and 41-year-old Ann Weldon. State police made way to her Burke's home in Harbor Creek on Wednesday after he was reported missing and a car owned by him was found in Columbus Township in Warren County. Police then found video of Barrick using his car and it's suspected that Pothoff was pass the passenger in Harbor Creek yesterday. Then around 11 o'clock last night, troopers began searching areas in Northeast for a missing person. According to state police, when checking on state game land on Calkins Road in Greenfield Township, they located tire tracks leading into the woods. Once troopers began a foot search, Burek's body was discovered. As, Weldon, as for Weldon, police discovered his body inside of a Nissan Sarantra following the pursuit. Now, Pothot has also has an arrest warrant out for him in the city of Erie. And after he reportedly shot a man in the abdomen last week, and Dave, as you said, we are learning right now that the coroner's office has began the autopsy on that first victim, and we're still learning more about this case, and we're expected to give you much more information about it, including those autopsy results starting tonight at 5. And again, this man is also wanted in the city of Erie for attempted homicide for all of this as well. All right, Chelsea, we know you'll stay on top of that story.